Good morning, party people. Man, it is overcast here today. Eastern Tennessee, nice and wet. Last night, we almost got flooded out of that little shop we were in. But anyway, we got Mike's T5M running and running well. Sounds good, too. It's got that IPD exhaust on it. Turbo back, baby. All the way back. And, uh, man, I think everything is done on that thing. You know, he might have some knick-knack interior stuff and maybe some tuning stuff to go on it. And, uh, man, he is thrilled. i would never seen a guy so happy. Every time we had a, a wall to climb, Mike got concerned. You know, he was a little bit uh, timid about the problems, breaking off bolts, losing hardware, uh, stuff not fitting right, stuff like that. That, that got his attention, but, hey, we uh, crossed those hurdles. It's a long, long six day haul, but uh, you know, when you rebuild them from bumper to bumper mechanically, you kind of get that kind of stuff. So he's gonna get some tires on that thing and be good to go. Now I, I went back over to the shop, picked up a part I lost uh, this morning. But uh, today's video is kind of the start of that thing, pulling the head off of his uh, spare engine, setting him up to rebuild that thing start tearing that engine out of that car and then you know we'll pick up from there tomorrow so on my way to Cincinnati maybe take a couple days off get ready to do a manual swap or two up there and keep it moving hopefully get everything done in my schedule before uh, before I need to go back to Albuquerque for my medical appointment thanks for watching welcome to hanging out with Robert that's me this video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Here we are, folks. S70 T5M puking oil out what we believe is the rear main seal however we have another engine over here that has a lot less miles on it so we're going to pull the head off of this lap the valves put in new valve stem seals and have this thing implanted into this T5M with all fresh seals and gaskets and all that stuff then he'll have a spare engine over here that he can do at his leisure. But we're going to put a fresh clutch kit on this and some other performance mods. And have this thing back on the road. Look at there. Got the clear jewels. Clear corners. Well, not totally clear. It's got the little re yellow reflector in there. But anyway, it's got the jewels. Got an A crate grill. A few other things. T5M. That's what you want. About ready to get the cam cover off. Then we're going to pull ahead. Take this intake manifold off. Then we're going to start pulling valves. That's the fun part. This head is ready to lift off of here. Now anytime you pull a cylinder head, you got one or two options. One, you can rebuild it yourself. Two, you can actually send it to a shop. Have them rebuild it. We're going to redo this one ourselves. So I'm going to refresh the video for removing and lapping the valves and stuff like that because my old video shows the manual way of lapping valves which is uh, killing some of you guys uh, the new way I use a drill with some hose on the end of it put it on the valves lap the valves that way that way you're not spending four hours lapping valves when you can spend 30 minutes lapping valves where's Robert yo Got the car on the lift to drain the fluids. I think this rear exhaust cam seal is causing all this oil leakage. This thing is dumping oil out. That's why he bought the car and had a massive oil leak. I think it's as simple as that cam seal. However, he thinks it needs a clutch too. So we're going to drop this engine and do a clutch and everything else it needs and refresh it with that engine over there. So we pulled all the valves out with this Volvo tool here. That's the part number for that part. And I don't know where the part number is for this part, but this is a valve 
remover and now we're taking and cleaning the carbon off the valves where the seals will ride so you don't want any carbon on the seal areas of these valves you see how carbon goes all the way up there we're cleaning the carbon off all the way down to here so that there's not any carbon where it'll touch the valve stem seals then we're going to place them back in the order they go and we're going to lap them I'm going to show you how to do that with the drill not with that manual hand tool to lap the valves we have the valves in order so we have an intake valve up here for number one we want to keep these in the right position that they're in so that we can get them to lap easier you got a drill bit you put it in the silicone hose or whatever kind of hose you squeeze the hose over the end of the valve enough so that you can get the valve to come out about a half inch or so so now you want to spin the valve with your finger put the lapping compound on there and then put the drill on there and spin the drill while you're tapping this in and out so that you can get that valve lapped in its seat clean up the seat clean up the valve you could get uh, some brake parts cleaner or something and get any oily substance off of this stuff first so that the grounding compound works good valve grinding compound put it on there tap it in and out you can put pressure on it with your finger while it's turning to get it to lap good you just want to get the ends of these valves clean and look at the valves especially the exhaust valves really close to make sure that there's no pitting on the valves you got to lap all of that off so if you're dealing with uh, valves that have to be adjusted you may need to get an adjustment if you lap too much or replace that valve but these are hydraulic lifters they automatically adjust they don't have no adjustments so you can lap away if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.